Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to do a review on the Bondi text Thomas. Thomas was released in the American Gold Rail series, but this is actually the Japanese version. And there's a clear difference between the Japanese version and the American version. The Japanese version had side rods, the American version did not. And um, I'm not really sure why that was. I think there might have been some sort of production issue that caused it. Don't really have a lot to say about Thomas, though, because he's not too rare. So, compared to the other Bondi techs, I mean, he's pretty common. I mean, he's not really all that much of a rare one because he was released in the United States. Um, so, I'm going to get him open here and I'll show you guys what Thomas looks like. Okay, here is Thomas right here. Um... He's really not a bad model. He looks very detailed and very good. Sort of like the Hornby ones. He does have a little bit of a chip on his funnel there, if you could tell. it's Part of it's off, and I'm not sure what happened to it. So That's a shame, but that's okay. Um, other than that, though, he's in good shape. I mean, he seems intact. Um, he's not bad, and Thomas was the first one produced. So... Yeah, now as for pricing, um, you can probably get Thomas for fairly cheap. I mean, like I say, he's not that rare because he's, he was made in the U.S. You can probably get a U.S. one for like five bucks. That's it. Um, the Japanese ones are going to be worth more, obviously, but if you find one for like $10, that's not bad. Um, I've seen sellers sell it for 40 or 50 and for Thomas, that's, that's not worth it. So, I mean, it's just not going to be a, the best choice to buy a Thomas for that price. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, I mean, that's Thomas. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my Bondi Tech videos. Um, I will post more. Thank you.